think you're going to be really excited about today's video. We now have the release of the latest update for Luminar Neo. Not only is it the latest, but it's also the greatest. Update 1.0.6 now gives us access to a brand new AI tool. This is a powerful tool which we were told about quite a while ago actually, but it's now here with the latest update. That tool is Mask AI. We also have another tool which we're going to look at as well, which is great, a lot of you want, but Mask AI is going to be the focus of this video because it's brilliant. Now, I'm actually going to be releasing in the next couple of days a complete masterclass on how to use this tool so you can really get to grips with it and benefit from using it with your own photo editing. If that sounds like something you want to watch, then all you got to do is click the subscribe button. It's completely free and then you'll get notified in the next few days. But for now, we're going to take a bird's eye view of the Mask AI tool and see how you can use it going forward. So when you're inside the edit tab and you've got an image which you're ready to start editing, all you need to do is actually go ahead and click in any of the tools inside the tools section. So I can go ahead to let's say develop and inside develop you'll see this new masking option. When we open the masking option you've got different tools, you've got brush, linear gradient, Radial Gradient and AI Mask. Now I'm going to take you through these and how to use them in depth in that video I mentioned a moment ago. But the one that we're really going to focus on in this update video is AI Mask. By clicking this, it's actually going to now look into our scene to see what it can find using the AI engine. Now AI Mask has been able to identify these different areas inside the photo, which is human, sky, water, mountains, and man-made ground. So how does this work? Well, now these are actually buttons which you can press. So if I click the water button, this is actually gonna create a mask around the water. You can see this mask now is just around the water now, some of the areas of the mask may go over other areas, and this is because the tool is actually in its infancy, which means it's just been released and is going to be updated regularly going forward. So what happens if it just happens to recognize different areas which aren't the water? Well, it can be fixed really easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But you can see how quickly it's made a mask of the water area inside the image. So what do we do now? Well, we can make adjustments to this mask quickly by using the adjustment section inside the develop tool. So now I could choose the exposure, for instance, bring it down and then just darken the lake a little bit to make it look like this. Now, this is really, really amazing, actually, because what this means for you is that you can pick out certain areas of your photo really quickly and make independent changes to them and this opens up a whole new doorway into powerful photo editing. Moving on from there, let's go ahead and choose another section. In fact, let's go to a different tool to start with. So let's go ahead to the enhance tool underneath, open that up, choose the masking option and go into AI mask. Now let's go ahead and choose the human, this guy here. And what this will do is it should create a mask around the human. There we go. We've now got this mask created around the human. But we do notice this little area on the left-hand side, which is a bit of an anomaly, and it's actually decided to mask a bit of the mountain as well. So how do we fix that, like I mentioned a moment ago? Well, it's really easy, actually. We just need to go into the AI mask option, click back, and then you'll see these other options here. Now, by choosing the brush option, we actually have the control ourselves to paint in more of a mask in different areas or paint away the mask where it's actually gone and we don't want it to. So that's what's happened here. So I'm going to choose the erase tab. I'm going to go over to the section where it was and click. And then I can just start painting away using the erase section here and getting rid of this area which it's selected. Now that's took me all of about eight to 10 seconds to do that. And that's nice and quick and something you can do easily as well. Now, when we jump back into the adjustments, it means we can make a change just to the human itself. 
and we can just push up the accent slider here as an example and just enhance the human a little bit as well. So you can see really quickly how the Mask AI tool can completely transform the look of your photos. Now, like I mentioned, we're gonna go into a deep dive of how to use this tool in that masterclass video in the next few days. So like I said, hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn how this tool will benefit you and your photo editing going forward. But for now, let's have a look at the masking tab again. And what we're gonna do here is click back into the options. The actual AI mask section that we've just been using has the ability to choose nine different areas in a photo. What are those areas? Well, the areas are people, skies, architecture, transportation, which is things like cars and trains, and water, flora, mountains, natural ground, and artificial ground. So this is some really kind of important areas which you can make quick mass on going forward. Now it's really important for you to actually look at this section underneath. If you can't see this inside your mask tab, all you gotta do is just click down on the mask actions and then you're gonna see these different options here as well. So we've got fill, clear, invert, copy and show. So what do these options do? Well, if we start from back to front and go to show first, Clicking on show will show you the mask that we've just applied, masking option here, inside the enhanced tool. So that's just showing you where the mask is actually being used. You can just simply click that off to unhighlight it. Now, if you want to make the same change that you've made inside this tool, you can actually copy what you've done by clicking copy here. And then I can actually go into another section or another tool so let's click on color. I can then go to masking, press paste, and now I can make another change to the human. So for instance, I can go ahead and click on the adjustments and I can make him really saturated if I wanted to. And you can see that that is now applied to the mask because I've copied the mask from the enhanced tool into the color tool. So that is a really powerful thing that you can do inside of this tool and something that I would think that most of you will be using to make all different kinds of changes using different tools using the Mask AI tool. Looking at these options further, you can actually also invert the mask, which means that you can actually choose to mask everything outside and then actually make sure that the human's not masked you can also clear the mask, which means if you want to get rid of it, you can clear it from the selection. And you've also got this fill option here, which you can actually press fill and it fills the whole area. Like if I press show, it fills the whole area here as a mask as well. So you've got all these different options which you can apply inside the mask AI tool. Can't wait to go into more depth with this tool in that video I mentioned earlier. But for now, let's take a look at this other tool, which a lot of you have been really wanting to actually use and has been missing from the earlier versions of Luminar Neo. And that is the histogram. I know this is going to make some of you really pleased because it's a tool that should have been in from the start, but it hasn't, but now it's here. And all you've got to do to actually find the histogram is right click and then you will see the option at the bottom for show histogram. Now clicking that, that's going to show up here at the top. Now this histogram is big enough for you to see. You can see the color and obviously from the shadows to the left going through to the highlight areas on the right. And you're now able to read the exposure in your photos going forward, which is something which is really important as photographers and photo editors. But you've also got different options like the clipping options. So you can press on the shadows area here and you can also press on the highlights area here and you're able to see clipping areas inside the image where you'll lose detail and this is important because you might then want to make changes to the highlights to bring them down a little bit so for instance if we go into the develop tab we can then bring the highlights down and then that will now bring the exposure in your histogram down meaning that you've now actually got rid of these clipping highlights in the image. And this is something which is 
like I said, really important and it's going to make a big difference now to Luminar Neo. All you've got to do to actually get this update for Luminar Neo is go ahead, open up Luminar Neo on your computer or Mac, and then you'll have the option to click OK and make that change. If you're someone that's been interested in Luminar Neo but hasn't got a copy yet, then this is probably a very good time to get a copy. Now you've got this tool and we've got these updates happening regularly, this is becoming a really impressive photo editor and I highly recommend it to anyone. If you want to actually get a discount on that, you can check out the discount in the video description where you can get a nice discount on Luminar Neo, which means you can save some of that money. I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys, and remember to check out that video coming in a few days where I'll go into a real deep dive on the Mask AI tool. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.